Hi everyone, uh, so yeah, I'm just basically doing a video quickly for, because I'm not in today obviously. I'm actually moving house, so uh, yeah, I'm just dealing with lots and lots and lots of boxes. Uh, okay, so what am I setting you today? I've set you basically, and you can see it on the Google Classroom or next to this link, uh, loads of these questions from the other textbook which we don't use, uh, which is a, it's a really good textbook actually, but we just haven't got the physical copies, we've only got the digital copy. The good news is I'm giving you a link as well to the answers which are just here. The bad news is I just did this video and then I realised the audio wasn't working, so I'm doing it all again. Now, um, it actually starts off with a proof from first principles. I ran through it, but to be honest, most of this exercise isn't about first principles, and I'd rather you stuck to the questions with E, which just means they've been asked in the exam before, and really most of it's about tangents and normals and maximums and minimums, um, and just general differentiation and solving and stuff like that. That's what I want us to practice today. And there's all sorts of questions in here. If it mentions increasing functions, although it's not that complicated, we haven't done it yet. Um, let's, let's just go through a typical question first. I'm going to go through the last one, uh, which annoyingly I just went through. But uh, let's go through number Let's go through number 20, actually, because uh, I just went through number 19. And I get bored if I go for the same question. So I'm going to go through number 20. We've got y equals 3x to the 4 minus 8x cubed minus 6x squared plus 24x plus 20. And it wants us to find the stationary points. Well, we've been doing this recently, haven't we? So we differentiate, and we get 12x cubed minus 24x squared minus 12x plus 24, and that's it. Now we're going to find the coordinates of the stationary points of f of x and determine the nature of each of them. Yeah. So that's what we're going to try and do. So we're going to set it equal to zero. Now this is an interesting one because I think I'm going to need a little bit of factor theorem to do this because I'll need to divide through by 12 and then I've got to find by guesswork a factor because that's how we factorize cubics we use factor theorem well okay my guess is 1 1 minus 2 is negative 1 minus another 1 is negative 2 plus 2 is 0 Wow, I got it right. They, basically, when you have to factorise a cubic and they don't tell you to use factor theorem, it's almost always because uh, 1 works as uh, you know as a number which you plug in, so x minus 1 is a factor. Okay, so we've got x minus 1. Now, I don't think... Did I teach you this bit? I can't remember. But my way of doing the division... I'm not very good at long division. Uh, who, who understands long division? Let's be honest. No one. Okay, so... I just basically think, well, what do I have to times x minus 1 by to make all of that? Well, I need to start with an x squared, because that will give me the x cubed. But it will also give me a minus x squared, and I need minus 2x squared. So that must be minus x, I guess. So overall, I've got minus 2x squared. That gives me a plus x, but I want a minus x. So I need a minus 2 here to make it minus x overall. And that gives me a plus 2 on the end, which tells me I've done it right. That's how I prefer to do division. Uh, I just am not good enough to do long division, I guess. Okay, so I get that, and now I factorise this, minus 2 and plus 1, I think. And so we get three roots, 1, 2, and minus 1, which is nice. Now, we've found the coordinates of the stationary points. We haven't determined the nature of them yet. To determine the nature of them, we need the second derivative, d2y by dx squared. If we differentiate this again, we're going to get 36x squared minus 48x minus 12 and now I just need to plug in at x equals minus 1 d2y by dx squared equals well that's going to be 36 plus 48 minus 12 and I think that comes to uh, 72 yeah key thing is that it's bigger than 0 hence that is a minimum yeah at x equals minus 1 now I'll work out the y coordinates in a minute let's now do the same thing with some of the others so let's try x equals 1. When we plug in 1, we get 36 minus 48 minus 12. That's minus 24, which is less than 0. So hence a max at x equals 1. And lastly, x equals 2. Let's find the value of the second derivative there. We're going to get 4 times 36, 144. Take away 96 is like uh, 48. Minus 12 is 36. Bigger than 0, hence a min at x equals 2. Now, that means I can draw it now. I do need to find a y coordinate, so I'll do that in a second. I'm just being super lazy here. It goes through minus 1, 
oh, and it's not cubic. The turning points, sorry, are at minus one, one, and two. Uh, oh, well, let's quickly find out the y coordinates because it will help me put it in the right quadrant. <laughs> Um, okay, so when x is minus 1, y equals, we're looking back at this one now, um, you're going to get 3 plus 8, which is 11, minus 6, which is 5, minus 24, which is minus 19, plus 2 is minus 17. When x is 1, you're going to have 3 minus 8 is minus 5, minus 6 is minus 11, plus 24 is 13, uh, plus 20 uh, is 33. Yeah, did I get that other one right as well? The first one. 3, I have 3, then plus 8 is 11, minus 6 is going to be 5, minus 24 is minus 19. Oh, plus 20 is 1. I didn't. I think I misread my own handwriting there, uh, which is shameful, really. Okay, and the last one, x is 2. So we're going to have 3 times 16 is 48, minus 64 is minus 16. Uh, minus uh, 24 is minus 40, uh, plus 48 uh, is 8, plus 20 is 28. So all the turning points are actually above the uh, x-axis, which is nice. So we know it's going to look something like this. Minus 1, 1, 1, 33, and then, what was that? Um, I would say 28 there, that was 2. And then y was, oh, I think we've forgotten now, I think it was 28, wasn't it? And so now we can sketch it, we know it's at minus 1, 1, 1, 33, we we'll check it in a second, and 2, 28, and that's what it looks like. A lot of people think quartics have to be symmetrical, they don't, yeah, they don't have to be symmetrical. That's question 20, wasn't it? Did we get it right? I'll give you the link to this. Uh, Good, good, good. I just divided it all through by 12. But Oh, I think I've got the numbers right when I plugged it in. I was expecting that to be wrong there. There we go. We got it right. Happy days. Um, so, yeah, that's that one. That's on stationary points. Let's do another one where it's about tangents and normals. I'm just picking these at random. Uh, I did this one before, but I want to do a different one now because I get bored otherwise. Okay, it's really raining outside. Wow. Will it ever stop raining? Okay, 8x to the minus 1. Minus x plus 3x squared. That's what we're dealing with. They want the equation of the tangent and the normal. That must be in the way. Okay, tangent first. Uh, dy by dx. Minus 8x to the minus 2, minus 1, plus 6x, I believe. Um, so the gradient of the tangent at x equals 2, when well, we need to plug in 2, we've got minus 8 times by a quarter, which is minus 2, minus 1, plus 12. And so the gradient of the tangent is... 9. Bearing in mind, we won't have to do this again for the normal because we just take the negative reciprocal of that. Now, when x is 2, what is y? Well, you're going to have 8 divided by 2, which is 4. Um, take away 2, which is 2. Add 3 times 2 squared, which is add 12, so I think y is 14. And so now I can do y minus y1 is m times x minus x1. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I've finished it. I've done what the question asked me to do. But I know they'll always tidy it up in the back of the book. So let's just check I've got the same answer. 9x minus 18, add 14, is 9x minus 4. We'll check it in a second. So that's the tangent. What about the normal? OK, the normal is just going to be exactly the same. But we're going to use minus a ninth x minus 2. I'd personally times everything by 9, so you get 9y minus, ooh, 9 times 14, 90 plus 36, 126, equals minus x add 2, and so you get 9y plus x is 128, and that's the normal. Let's see if we got it right. What question was that even? I don't even remember. Uh, number 13, is that 13? 9x minus 4, 9y plus x is 128. Exactly the same. Wow. Well done, us. Okay, good luck with this exercise. They're all good questions, um, with the possible exception. If you see anything about increasing functions, I don't think I left any in there. Hopefully there isn't. Most of it's about tangents and normals and just general differentiation. Sorry, I left that in there. Um, but yeah, good luck. I hope it goes really well. It's bit, particularly the E ones, they've been in exams before. You might want to skip the first couple because they're about proof of first principles. And just leave that for today. Practice tangents, normals, and stationary points. I don't mind which ones you have a go at, 
just work solidly for an hour on this differentiation topic. Okay, thanks for listening and good luck and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.